a whole different secondary than he saw against Howard. And a defense that gave up almost nothing on the ground last week. Throws underneath complete to LT Smith who caught five balls a week. Texas Tech did under Mike Leach. Chisholm is the setback. They fake it to him and throw underneath. That's going to be a first down. Against UCF. Plays inside and can move outside. And this was after they told us they were going to rotate a lot of defensive backs. Durazio makes the catch. And getting it out quickly may be the key to protecting Pole. Four-man rush. Pole stands tall in the pocket. Throws complete again to L.T. Smith. Driven out of bounds. Pressure. Got a block. Chisholm on the delay down to the. And they will give it to Chisholm. He dives for the zips of Akron. Cole floats it for the end zone and showing blitz, and they come and Cole swallowed up. Third and goal. Paul scrambles. Trying to keep the play alive and brought down at the Short set throws out in the flat to Chisholm. It's an end spot to a tackle. He's light for a defensive tackle. But boy, he's quick. And Penn State's defense starting to swarm a little. They'll go on the athlete in the playbook if you want the first down. Third and 17. Penn State with a four man front. Hundley on a draw again. And Hundley. Penn State shows blitz and they come. The quick pass to the outside. To Paul has to step up and. Third and seven. Another blitz. Paul hangs in there. Hundley is the running back. And Hundley will get the carry. To uh, run under the pass. Faked up. Blitz coming, pole one loads, and he's got the. F pole flush, tries. Under pressure, throws in the flat. That's only going to get him a yard. Penn State crowds the line of scrimmage. They come with five. Paul trying to scramble. Is in as the running back. As Akron starts this offensive drive, and they swing at the Lawrence. Turns the corner, taking it out of momentum at the end of this half. Not a good throw by Paul as he was trying to hit Lawrence coming out of the backfield. Threw it behind him. I think he was afraid if he threw it in front of him, <laughs> it was going to yeah. get picked, or Lawrence would be lit up. Yeah. Nice job by Carl Massett. Of course, his brother Brian, quarterback of the Giants. But uh, Carl did a nice job of reading that. Now Terry Bowden, longtime offensive coach. This is a big third down. Remember those slant patterns, those quick slant runs? Well, you got too much pressure now. Penn State up in the faces, so this you might have to run off and look to the middle of the field. Third and three, and they got that quick. Starts so taking advantage of that. Coach has told us he has a really good arm. He can make all the throws. And he's shown that so far today. Takes off. And. Cole this time forced out of the pocket. 
gets what he can and gets out. And Chisholm gets the carry, running room to midfield. Pole flushed again and gets positive yardage again. Years ago, Akron then called Bucktail College, beat Ohio. Flag down. Malik Golden may have gotten there. First down in Penn State territory at the 39. Paul over the middle. Little bubble screen. Takes him down. Penn State comes with a blitz. Paul unloads. It's a long history having a nice time here. Paul trying to scramble and down he goes. Mount start to save some for their offense. Draw play and running room for Chisholm. What it's all about the protection for Akron. Pole stands in the pocket, throws it. Goal. Would have gotten them on the board first. Draw play to Hundley. So they may get another Big Ten win to add to that list. Seven. One yard line. This may be their opportunity. Pole comes out. Uh, your team. Chisholm is the running back on first down. Fake it to him and throw the slant again. Pole again floats it. Hundley can't hold on. Chisholm on the delay. Penn State shows blitz and come with it. Flanker screen. And just after Michigan State in that Rose Bowl, I yep. just I don't know that they're going to be able to keep up with USC today to complete use the width of the field as much as possible. Pull, nice job to get rid of that ball Pole under pressure. Got they come with a zone blitz. They end up bringing only four. Uh, Penn State were to score again. You've got to go a little faster if you're after. Pole gives it off to Lawrence, and Lawrence got that burst. Easily can really run. Blitz coming by Penn State again, and the pad being accurate a lot today. Another blitz coming. They go with the flanker screen, and what a play. Pressure coming again. Pole hangs in there. The pass. Especially if you're that good. Mm -hmm. Pole in a very slow developing play and throws it downfield and throws it away. Pole gives off on the running play to six yards. But you better get the first on one of these two plays. They can't afford to punt it away. No, I'm with you. Pole throws underneath evidence to overturn it, and then they didn't have that. They go for it on fourth and short and have to try to produce some big plays out of a ball control passing up. Pole fakes the running play and then throws short to Bickley. This will be a pretty good club in the map. Been very impressed with Cole, haven't you? So they'll have him again next year. Cole comes out throwing to Durazio. He has the line of scrimmage. Now they sneak up a fourth. And now a fifth. 
And they all come. Durazio again takes the pass over the middle. Picks up to throw it just a, a, a hair sooner than he's wanted to. They put pressure on Paul. This time he completes to Bickley. Even if the defense line is unblocked, he's not going to get there. Flanker screen to Bickley. Got a block. Dances inside the already inside six, and Penn State's going to give them all the four yard passes they want. Pole under pressure, trying to scramble. Pole again with it. Well, they're taking a long time to get off plays, and here the Try the slant over the middle. First set. Penn State shows blitz. Here they come. The pass thrown underneath and complete. Will throw the ball in the end zone. And Paul floats it. Some contact in the end zone. No. Paul again. A short slant. Another drop. Touchdown, two point conversion to tie. Yes, field goal does put you within two scores. Third and ten. Pressure coming on Paul, and he's for Akron making this decision. Here comes the blitz, and it's incomplete. 